Hey, hi everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to install Nodemon in Node.js. Now, what is Nodemon? Well, Nodemon helps you to save and restart your server every time when a new change is made in your project, right? So, earlier what we used to do, we just, when we want to start our server, let's say this is our code and I want to start it, I have to write the code here, like node script.js, then I press enter. And then my server gets starts at the port number, you can see 3000. And when I go to the port number 3000, like as you can see here, right, port number like localhost 3000, I can see that the response body, right, which is written here. So uh, now if I made any change here, like rather than using node, I want to write the node on here. I want to, re I just saved it and I want to see that whether the change has occurred on my main site or not, then when I refresh it, you can see no changes has occurred. Why? Because we need to restart the server, right? Like as you can see here. Now again, if I write node script script.js and then again go here and refresh. Now you can see the changes has occurred. Means every time when I make any change and I want to see it, I have to restart the server. And this is what very time consuming and not bad preferred for large projects right so that's why we use the nodemon to solve this problem let's first clear it and yeah now how to install the nodemon for that we first write npm that is node package manager then we write install rather than using install you can also write i npm i and then nodemon nodemon now since we are going to use it everywhere so we will uh, download it as a dev dependency so we have to write dash dash save dash dev now press enter now the downloading process has started and finish of course now after downloading you can see a few more files has added this is node module uh, it is actually containing all the dev dependency file means uh, which are required for downloading the node uh, nodemon and one more file that is pa package log.json you don't need to worry about this that what is it you just need to come here and in the package.json right where every update about the like every information about your project is stored and here you can see in the dev dependency we are having this nodemon right so earlier what we were doing uh, we were uh, using this main file which was script.js so we write node script.js right now for restarting the project uh, or the server with the help of nodemon what we need to write we have to write npx npx and then nodemon right nodemon and then write the name of your main file which is main file this is script.js right so it's script.js like this press the enter after pressing enter you can see it has started the extension right so it is watching for all the js mjs and cjs and json file and it has started what node script.js means even after doing the node mod right your server get start only by node script.js so what nodemon is doing is that it is making a watch it is making an eye on your project that every time when you are uh, saving or making any changes it automatically restart your server that's what it is doing it is doing nothing than uh, like it is not starting the server or making server by its own it is just restarting the server by your changes right now if you can see that if i make any changes here hello nodemon myself piyush like this right now i want to just save it so i'll just simply click on control plus s and you can see you can see here after clicking control plus s it has restarted due to changes and it has again started what node script.js that we did earlier in the traditional way right now if you go to the website and simply reload it you can see all the changes are visible here let's try it again let's remove myself just hello nodemon piyush let's just save it you can see the server has again started let's go to the website refresh it yeah you can see hello nodemon piyush like this got it i hope you understood the concept that how we can install the nodemon and use it in our node project uh, so this is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.